What is Best in Life. Today we join Emir Moosejaws of Tabaristan on his quest to restore the Zor Zoroastrian faith to the Empire of Persia, then after that the Empire of Rajasthan, which should encompass most of the modern uh, Zoroastrian communities. And the Persian Empire, of course, is occupied by the Abbasids right now, or is uh, held by the Abbasids. And they are converting it to the Sunni Muslim faith. So although if we look at the religiosity of the region, uh, the Mazdeki is, uh, is a Zoroastrian heresy. So there's a Mazdekian uh, heresy, Zoroastrian to the south, Manichean, another Zoroastrian heresy. I'm not sure what Zumiist is actually, if it's a, even a Muslim, it's a pagan faith. And then there are some Sunni peoples in the center, many of whom will slowly convert to Shia. The rise of Shia has begun. And then there's the uh, Sunni heartland here in the Arabian Peninsula. And there's some Shias in Egypt. Oh, and there's actually Shias out uh, west as well. And then I think uh, Spain will probably become a, a Sunni heartland as well. So we're trying to restore the Zoroastrians to this part of the world. And we're doing it quite slowly, uh, beginning with the Kingdom of Dalem. Now, in the previous episode, the Emir uh, Jahandar the Great died. And so I do not have a council established. I have very little established. And I'm in the middle of a war for Dalem. So shall I, I have a lot of things to do, picking an ambition. I'm going to at least set a council because if you notice the Emer Moose Jars is terribly weak in many respects. Uh, the only uh, half decent stat he has is in business. Fortunately, I'm trying to use mercenaries to finance my conquest and I own two Silk Road trade Outpost, Gurgan, and Gazwin. So I will try to establish a council to see if I can uh, protect him as a spy master. Is there anyone? The best spy master. Hopefully his uh, opinion will come up. The 61 year old, he still is a negative four. Um, and we will scheme in Gurgan to try to provide some protection for the uh, Emir Moose Jaws and his wife, who has some excellent claims. The Mobad, oh, we'll get a pretty good Mobad, uh, Herbad of Damquin with 21. Now he will try to proselytize. Uh, let me check. Yeah, the religious Quivir is Zoroastrian. Tabaristan itself, Kazwin is Mazdeki. He will try to continue to proselytize in uh, Kazwin, and if we notice the religion, the moral authority of Zoroastrianism has shot up. There are now two, I'm not sure how it happened, but there are two holy sites. The holy sites of Nak Kundi and the holy site of Jajarm are now controlled by Zoroastrians. And uh, there's a paragon, paragon of virtue. I'm not sure if that was my father or someone else. And it's an organized religion, but I'm not sure why they're holding those two uh, holy sites by Zoroastrians, Nak Kundi and Jajaran. Jajaran is, he's a Herbad, uh, reigning in Jajaram. And Nak, he too is a uh, Herbad of Nak Kundi. So that would be great if we could, uh, I'm not sure, I, I'm just not sure how that happened. I wish he could just be taken right to the uh, holy site. Uh, there we go. So who's holding it? Zoroastrian. Marzoban. So he's a Zoroastrian too. So he is. And he's independent. Gee, I wish I could vassalize him. I wonder if I could send an army across Persia and vassalize him. Actually, I'll check this. Can I declare war? Uh, I can't declare war if I've raised army and I don't have a valid Casas Belli and I don't have uh, raised levies, but okay. And then let me see the other one. And his liege is the satrap of Korsan, who is also Zoroastrian. 
and could I declare war on him? Could I take a concubine? No, no good Zoroastrian concubines. Uh, that's something I'll actually, I'll start the game just so we don't, uh, and we'll see how this battle plays out uh, between the armies. I am in the fighting for the uh, fief or the sheikdom of Galan. It was a war I started as hopefully as a chain war to conquer. And let me establish a, a steward. Uh, I'll just pick the highest steward and get him collecting taxes. Trade post of Kazwin, collect extra taxes in Kazwin. Get that going. Now I need a marshal of some sort. I don't have much in the way of marshals. And I will get him to uh, train troops in Gurgan to increase my levy size. Now I'm going to see where I ping pong the army too. I might defeat this army one more time and then head over to Siege Galan. I have so much to do. Uh, okay, he's... I'm not going to chase him for too long. Oh, he's headed south, so I'll head into Galan and I'll start sieging down that holding, which hopefully will give me a 100% war score. Uh to get that accomplished all right so i've set up my council now hopefully my state my state score of 14 intrigue might save me uh it might not now i need to pick a focus um it's the only good stat i have is 14 i'm in business i'm in business on the silk road so i will try to pick a business focus to increase my stats even more and gain a lifestyle trait. Uh, see my stat rose to 13 from I think 11. Yeah, business focus from 11 to 13. So that should help my ability to raise money. The trade post of Kazwin is now granting me 30 uh, gold uh, gold per month from a base tax of 10. And let me just look at uh, all the modifiers here. Trade zone bonus plus 29%, technology 9% bonus, Silk Road 7% bonus, Kazuin Harvest Festival 15% bonus, collect taxes plus 30% bonus for a total income of 19.99. So I'm not sure why it's showing 29.2. Oh, stewardship skill plus 56%. So therefore my final income is 29.9. Now, does that mean I'm actually able to afford my monthly balance is still negative 10 gold pieces a month for paying for these uh, mercenaries so i'm hoping to chain war these mercenaries to pick up dehistan and if i have enough money i was going to take tabriz during the same war and that would give me a 60 percent of the kingdom of dehistan uh or daystum daystum what is the kingdom name a uh, delam and that would have allowed me with the uh, senior Emer, Emer uh, Jahandar, to uh, go from a count to a king in one lifetime. So I'm no longer able to get that achievement anyway. So I'm not sure if I'm going to chain war and pay for the war of Tabriz and try to use these mercenaries to conquer both Dihistan and Tabriz and Galan all at once. I may just uh, I may just conquer two. I'm definitely going to attempt to conquer Diastan and vassalize him as a Zoroastrian, exercise my claim on Galan, and then I'll see how much cash I have left over. Now, I do have a courtier that hates me, so I should pick an ambition. What ambitions do I have available? Become king of Daylan, acquire a title, uh, become a counselor, groom an heir, I think I'm going to pick the Become King of Daylan ambition because I think that's achievable relatively early. And that will give me 400 extra prestige. This guy's coming back with 772 troops. How's the siege going? Uh, negative 8.8% every 12 days. That's not that terrific, actually. I guess they have a level 4.5 fort and they're besieging 
yeah, they're besieging my holdings, which only have 275 defenders, but I haven't been upgrading my holdings. I have been using my cash to purchase mercenaries to conquer. So what else do I have here? I could send my wife into hiding and my intrigue score is quite low. So I might have to do that. Although I want to have a child with her as my senior heir, because if you notice, she has so many claims as the daughter of the uh, caliph i would like my senior heir to uh, have those claims as well we had a pretty good heir uh elg moose jaws moose jaws aid but he was uh he died i'm not sure how he was probably murdered a message about a point counselor uh therefore he accepted me as chancellor definitely i'll be your chancellor so I now have an, I should have uh, picked the uh, council position ambition, but I didn't, so there we go. My mistake. I didn't think it would be that easy for a character with the spat of stats to be appointed chancellor, especially as I'm, uh, as I'm both a foreigner and a heretic. A message about a signed guardian. Peace be with you. We propose that Empress Pamana of the Abbasid Empire become the guardian and mentor of little Dalaram Jahandakit so he can be raised as a proper uh, Bedouin Sunni, my half-sister. Uh, I'll accept that just because she's probably never going to... Um, uh, she's Even if she becomes a Bedouin... I believe her heirs are going to be follow the father's culture, which will be a Zoroastrian Persian anyway. So I will take the increase of opinion of the liege, liege opinion of me, negative 22 because I'm a foreigner and an infidel. Um, but he's guard. He's a guard of one of my of my half sister. But I believe her heirs will follow will still follow the father's uh tradition and that will be persian zoroastrians so let me see have i yes okay i've sieged now i'm just going to chase away the uh army one more time and then i'm going to go back and siege galan now what else do i have uh, my spy master shouldn't be idle you should be scheming to protect me so there we go and my Chancellor, I'm going to put in Tabriz to try to fabricate a claim on Tabriz. And uh, recruit a court physician. Let me see what sort of court physician I would get. Oh, learning of 21, go bad the Herbat of Damquin. I'll appoint him court physician, as with a learning of 21, he'll probably be a better court physician than any that I would acquire through the uh, uh, search function. So a message about a signed guardian. Become the guardian of little Barad Jahanzi. No, he's not raising my half-brother, because in that case, my line would turn into Bedouin Sunnis, and I want them to be Zoroastrian Persians. I hope I haven't angered him by turning him down. Let me see. Negative 37. Refused offer of guardianship. Yeah, I've pissed him off. Now, I can't afford to bribe him either, can I? Why would I ransom a prisoner? What would ransom... Uh, can I take a concubine? Does he have any good concubines on offer? No. I am hoping, again, like I said, that my first child would be... And this is my wife. My wife does not have that high an opinion of me. Now, can I give her a gift? 15 gold. 15 gold definitely is worth it, even though I'm in the middle of a war. There, her opinion of me shot up to 32. So hopefully that will be enough to uh, let love, uh, sexy time, long time lovemaking uh, happen. And we have our first heir, is my hope. Now I'll try to return to Galan and get that siege going. Council is discontent, but that's just going to have to improve over time. Special titles are regent. I'll designate my wife as regent. 
to get her opinion of me. Now it's up to 42, so hopefully my chances of having a child will have raised, risen even more. And I will continue my siege of Emer Ramadan. So, uh, let's see here, where is Emer Ramadan? There's all these wars I'm supposedly involved in. I have an 86% war score. He won't accept it. All right, I actually got a. I it's going to cost me 124 gold, but I got a claim on Tabriz, so now I have a claim on Tabriz I can use. Now, should I be sieging down these holdings? There's 269. What? How many troops does the satrap have? He has 193 gold, and he has over a thousand, almost two thousand levies. Now, how many levies do I have? 2.33. And how, how many of them have I raised? From defense, 540. So I have 2,173. So I could raise another 540 in another 20 if I drop them and re-raise them. So I am going to try to, I'll probably try to borrow money, but I need to keep this army intact. If I start sieging down this army, I will not have an excess of troops because how many military army levies hired 1,301? They're costing me 14 gold. Um... A retinue. I don't have enough retinue cap space to make a retinue yet. All right, I'll speed things up a bit and continue on with the war and try to get this war over with before the uh, business chain events from my business focus start taking over and start costing me money and I'm going to try to chain war down all my enemies and conquer three enemies at once and then declare myself king of Dalem when I have enough money so there we go Emir Ramadan and there we go I have usurped the title of Aram you said Wally oh so I'm getting all of these titles actually from him and usurp the title of the sheikdom. All right, so there. Now, let me just pause for a moment. Now, I won't usurp that title yet. Now, if I go to Tabriz and declare or attempt to declare war on him, I won't because I have raised, lappy, raised uh, levies. All right, so I'll go back to Kuwabir. And how many troops does he have? He only has 905. All right. Okay, so I'll pause one more time. Now I will uh, drop my levies. And hopefully I won't lose any. No, I won't lose any. Let's see here. Uh, there we go. Yes, they will disperse. They will disperse. Now I will declare war on the Satrap of Tabriz. And I will re-raise my levies. They should be higher. And I will reunite my army there. And I will try to make sure that I am not actually leading this army. I don't want my uh, Emir slain one more time. When children lack education focus. Oh, he's strong? Okay, he's... Oh, it's my sister. I would have done Marshall for sure. Uh, I'll do a stewardship focus for her. And assign a guardian. Uh, 
I'll just hope uh, Siki. I'll hope that she will have a pretty good. So where are these three thousand army from? Okay, that's from a rebellion or something that I'm not involved in. Okay, so it's got me leading the army. We want the hat. The someone. Okay, we lost the captain with the enormously high uh, general strength. I thought this uh, army band actually had a general of 25. So now I will lead and go down and siege Tabriz, and I will speed things up and see if I can accomplish conquering Tabriz as well in this episode. So he has an army of 2,800. Uh-oh. We'll arrive in Kurdistan. And he is arriving in Daylam. Special tithe. Darn it. Okay. So... He is in De Lam. I'm going to have to borrow more troop, borrow more money, intrigue focus. Uh, I will borrow 300 gold from liege, mer liege uh, from merchants, and I'm going to hire a cheap band of mercenaries if I can find one. 240. 150. Do you have any cheaper than 150? That's a lot. That's half my income. 1300. 225. 124. That would have been a good one to hire. It's gone. 140. 9.274. That's not going to cut the mustard. Although that does remind me, I'm trying to get a, a child, a brother of mine, with. Uh, I'm going to educate him militarily and then start a military band of my own. So we will hire the Sangpo the Bodja band. And they unfortunately appear in Gurgan. And they're going to my rally point and I will So I'm now losing 18 gold a month, and I only have 227 gold. This is going, I'm going to have to uh, win this war, win this battle, hopefully. And then release one of these groups of mercenaries. <laughs> so I'll let these mercenaries take the first hit. Uh, I'm taking some attrition. News from China, rumors, rumors of the military might of the Tang Empire is proving to be a forceful diplomatic tool in itself. After what seems like brief negotiations, Shar Vishra of Shul has peacefully agreed to become a tributary state of the Middle Kingdom. Their couriers whisper that they can only hope that the relationship between the Shah and the Magnificent Emperor will be a frightful one. Defeat. Siege of Babak is a victory. All right, now let me get there in time so that this is a victory. This has got to be a victory. Uh, shocking news. Uh, this is the woman who hates me, my vassal. Yes, I will expose her immediately. But come on, get there, get to the fight before it's over. Yes. Now, am I going to win this battle? Oh, no, I might not still win it. Defeat. I lost 891 troops, he lost 715. Do I still outnumber him? I still outnumber him, but I have to hang on to these mercenaries for one more round. And they're doing the shattered retreat, so they're going quite a ways away. And they're retreating to Tabriz. Open council positions, Grand Vizier. My Chancellor. Oh, there's a fantastic Chancellor. 
and my MOBAD. There we go. I will get him to proselytize. Because when? I'm not sure why. Now, guys, get back here. Merge into one army and let's do this again. Perhaps it was because they were led by such a terrible general. All of my court have horrible martial skills. My Demesne is too big, but only by one, so I can... Come on, let me win this battle. I've got to defeat this guy once so I can dismiss these mercenaries. And he's taking off. All right, I'm going to siege down to Breeze then. And we're coming up on the end of this episode. One child lacks education focus. Okay, so to Breeze, 120. There we go. Oh, darn, they have 800 troops. But I think they're just in a city, so they're not going to have much of fortifications. Oh, I am taking losses. My war score is only 17%. I guess that's because you won that one battle against me. News from China. The status quo in China is over. Harmony and progress are blossoming throughout the China under the benevolent rule of Lai Dezong. New types of precious silks and other wondrous new wares have started to flow along the increasingly safe routes of the Silk Road, whose wealth has doubled. That's fantastic. How's my wealth doing? My monthly balance is now only negative four. So that's good news. And I'm going to hang on and let these uh, siege down 9% every 12 days. And the, I don't see where the troops, did he take all the way? He's down to 1,400 troops, and he's taken away all the way down there. I don't know why he's gone so far away. So this, unfortunately, is not mine. Uh, victory. So I have besieged all of... Is sat all of Tabriz, and I still only have 26% war score. Uh, that's again because he won the Battle of Kanaj. Uh, My occupation is given me lost control of Kanaj and Delam. 53% war score. Lost Kanaj and Delam. Is Delam actually under siege? Yes, it is. Darn. Okay, I'll quickly go there. And my army lost its leader again. Let's see, Dershan. And we will just quickly siege down. There we go. Uh, well... We'll end it there with uh, the War for Delam ongoing. The uh, army of the satrapy that I'm attacking of Tabriz has disappeared. I'm not sure of its size. I have 1,800 troops, and I have had to borrow from uh, Jewish moneylenders to keep my army in the field. However, I did win Galan and all of its holdings, including the city and the temple, so I have to reassign them next turn. And I did establish a council this to try to protect the life of my wife and myself. And as we pursue the kingdom of Delam and try to avoid getting assassinated. I hope you enjoyed the video. 
If this is your first time here, please consider hitting the subscribe button and the bell so that you get notification about my uh, upcoming videos and consider following me on Facebook. Have a good day.